It's national meets regional. Welcome to Sidewalks Entertainment, the long-running celebrity, music, and art series. Join us now for an exciting new path to celebrity interviews, music, rising talents, and much, much more. I'd like to welcome Alfonso Ribeiro. Hi, Alfonso. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Now, um, geez, you, you sing, you dance, you act, you direct, you host. Uh, you're very talented at every single one of those. Where did it all begin for you? I mean, what was your very first paid uh, sh gig in show business, and how did you get the part? Um, well, my very first was an, uh, a PBS TV series called Oh Yeah Willie. Um, and uh, there's a funny story there. I actually uh, auditioned for this role of um, the, the lead's best friend uh, in this show. And the lead was much taller than me. So they loved me and they <laughs> wanted to cast me, but they were like, we can't, like, it doesn't work in a lot of the shots. So they actually created a role for me and I was the, the character Pee Wee. So, uh, mm. like, I was the little guy in the group. Um, so I, that was my first gig and uh, a pretty cool way. And it was actually my first audition. It was the first audition oh, I wow. ever went on. And so I was lucky enough to start working day one. Oh, my gosh. That's amazing. How old were you? I was eight years old. Oh, my goodness. Do you remember the experience? Were you scared? Were you nervous? Was it easy? Did I, don't it really, I don't really remember that far back. <laughs> you know, <laughs> 39 years ago. Um, uh, you know, no, I don't really remember that far back. But, um, you know, I've seen pictures. I was always a kid who just, I wasn't afraid of anything. Um, I, I, you know, it was all about fun for me. Um, you know, a lot of people look at negatives. I look at positive, right? So I, I was like, I'm going to go have fun and I don't care if I mess up I don't care what's the worst that could ever happen um, so I never I never was afraid of, of a bad outcome which uh, you know made me you know capable of really going for a great outcome and uh, you've done so much over the years a couple of things to, or a couple of projects that you've worked on that you have so many fans here at sidewalks and in my family. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, Dancing with the Stars, America's Funniest Home Videos, Catch 21, Silver Spoons, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. And what's funny is it's you've created or you've worked on these projects through the generations. So every generation is a fan of yours for something different. Like uh, my brother and sister, they watched you on Silver Spoons, but right. then when I came along, I watched you on Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Right. Loved your character as as well as you know everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I actually did your Carlton dance as a wedding entrance. There you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I'm sure you've gotten that before, right? I, I have heard it a couple <laughs> times. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> That's awesome. Now. The Carlton dance, how did you come up with it? Was it made for the show or did you improvise it in an episode? How did you come up with it? Um, well, I, you know, I've said this many times, you know, obviously uh, I, had, I had like had fun messing around with people with that dance before um, the show ever started. But when, when I was doing the show, and any time you're, you know, at the beginning of a show and you're creating a character, you're trying to figure out things that the character would do. And in, in, in one of the episodes, it just simply said, Carlton dances. And so I was like, well, how would this character dance? And I had had this image in my head and I'd played around with it beforehand. And I'm like, oh, Oh, that, this is the dance that I should do, and that dance was was inspired by Eddie Murphy in the Raw video and Courtney Cox in the Dancing with the Stars, uh, Dancing with the Stars, uh, Dancing in the Dark oh. video with uh, with Bruce Springsteen. So uh, I saw the imagery and kind of had it all in my mind and went, I think the character would do this, but then I turned it and made it mine. I made it my own kind of style and um, did did it differently, but. Um, it was inspired by by those dances, and that was the image that came in my mind for this character. That's awesome. Now, um, you know, Carlton, what's it like cre having created a character so many years ago that was so loved and popular that you also have Carlton fans in the younger generations? 
Well, you know, I, I'll say this. I didn't create the character. I obviously played the character. Um, it was Susan yeah, and Andy yeah. Borowitz that created it, and they did an amazing job of, of creating all the characters on the show. Um, but obviously t taking what was on a page and, and making him real was what I was mm -hmm. able to do. I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed doing that. I enjoyed the show. I enjoyed being able to play that character. Um, and it is kind of wild that you think about, you know, this many years later, uh, they're, you know, still fans loving it. So, uh, you mm -hmm. know, it's a, it was a wonderful time in my life. Yeah, your Carlton character is just so lovable that, you know, I have nieces and nephews that know how to do the dance. I'm just like, what do you know about Carlton? <laughs> you weren't even born yet. But, well, you know, they the, have that's a the greatest thing. That's the greatest thing about syndication. <laughs> syndication, you know, you can have a job that lives on forever, um, and then you get to the present time, and you and, and it's what you're doing, right? It's it's what you're doing now. Uh, the past is, is a wonderful time, and we, we love what we're doing now. And, and obviously, I'm doing this, this great thing for this summer where I've teamed up with Hampton to do the Hampton Real Travel Road Trip Hotline and uh, it's it's a great opportunity to go out there and and uh, and talk with real people who travel around this country my family and I um, I've traveled since I was a kid uh, with my parents and traveled with uh, with my with my family now we take road trips and so you know the now is the great right the now is is what yeah. we're is what we're loving and, and uh, teaming up with Hampton has been a wonderful thing for me yeah, so the Real Travel Road Trip Hotline, how does that work? Well, what we're doing is, well, Hampton and I teamed up together to create this so that uh, we can, you know, help nervous travelers uh, come up with a plan and, and when they're traveling, help them, uh, you know, you know, fix, fix whatever problems they're having, give them ideas to make their road trip better. 77% of Americans believe that, um, you know, road tripping is the best way to travel in this country and that it's not about the destination, it's about the journey. And so we want to make that journey uh, the best possible um, cause mm -hmm. because 44% believe that, you know, it's nervous. Uh, they're nervous about it and, and they're stressed trying to, uh, you know, plan a road trip. So we have ideas to allow them to take some of that stress away um, by calling us and we can then, they'll hop on the hotline and we'll give them suggestions on their road trip. Now, from what I understand, not only are you involved with the project, but you will be answering some of those calls. Is that yes. right? Yes. Yes. Well, I did. A, when are I you did going a, to do it? I, I did. A, I did a live one, but all summer long, I'll be automated. Uh, They're giving people advice. Um, we've already recorded all of that, and and uh, we, you know, I've got all the information for everybody. Trust me on this one. You call me, you're going to get some information about your road trip. Um, you know, it, the one of the things that's always very difficult for people on a road trip is, you know. You're in the car, who's controlling the music? You know, a third of the time the driver picks the music, right? But we believe that it's important for everyone to get a chance to pick the music. So we have some ideas to, you know, help it move around the car and give some people some different um, options and um, music to play and possible suggestions, um, games to play in the car, snacks, all of these things. These are things that uh, we will help people with. That's awesome. Well, unfortunately, we are out of time. But again, thank you. Thank you so much, Alfonso, for taking the time to speak with me today. Absolutely. Just have everybody call 1-866-7-HAMPTON or go to HamptonHotline.com to get all the information you need. Awesome. Alfonso Ribeiro for the Real Travel Road Trip Hotline. Thanks again, Alfonso. You take thank care. Thank you. You too. Bye. Bye. For more full-length celebrity interviews, visit SidewalksTV.com.